Hi, we're Richard and Jackie from Early Retirement Wonderlust. And we've just spent our first two days on the Portsmouth to Santander ferry. So it's the start of our five week journey traveling around Spain and France and the ferry was absolutely amazing. It does help that it's absolutely <laughs> brand spanking new and I don't think uh, we realized that until we got on it, but wow, what a ferry it is. Yeah, we sat in our little bedroom. It's got four bulk beds in here, but they're two proper size single beds. I was expecting something much smaller. Uh, yeah, it's a great little cabin. Do you admire the view? <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> We thought that we were going to be in a little interior box, but the illusion of space actually has, uh, has made it really cosy in here. The last two days have gone really quickly. We've had two nights and one full day. Yesterday it was really calm at sea and we managed to sit out most of the day. We had a couple of picnics, um, we had a bottle of wine, a few beers because no one was driving. It was absolutely fab. This wasn't the cheapest ferry option, obviously, that we could have taken. We could have done the Dover-Calais route. Um, it was £495 for the actual ferry and then £133 for the two nights of the cabin, which... Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. It was £495 for the actual ferry and then another £133 for the cabin, which is expensive, but actually it's been really good value. It's been really relaxing the journey down and it's a long, long way and it would have cost us loads in petrol and tolls to actually drive down this way. Here we go again. <laughs> Just a mental note to self, don't start filming when we're about to dock and we have numerous bing bong announcements about this one was about pets. So the ferry crossing actually saved us money in the in the long run. It saved us petrol and tolls driving all the way across France. And for me, it saved my energy levels. So we're actually way, way, way south and I've got all the energy in the world. And all we're going to do now is pootle our way north in five weeks time and somehow get the ferry back home. There's three different restaurants on the ferry, uh, ranging from a cheaper, more cafeteria style that does sort of tapas -y type food. Uh, to the posh your restaurant that you had to book for and get dressed up for. We did actually bring a picnic because we were trying to save a bit of money. We haven't actually spent that much on <laughs> when we've been on board. We bought a few coffees because there's no coffee making facilities in the rooms and we bought a nice cold glass of white wine uh, when we were particularly parched last night <laughs> sitting out under the sunset. Classic Jackie and Richard style, we decided, or we picked our ferry because it was the end of the school holidays, but we picked the only ferry. Oh, ah. So we've made it. We're in Spain <laughs> after our filming chaos of bing bong hell on the ferry. Um, bit of a disaster really. In classic Jackie and Richard style, we thought that we'd be clever and look to travel down towards the end of half term week and catch the ferry going the opposite direction of everyone. What we didn't realise was <laughs> the only ferry that we could get was beyond the Friday, which was potentially the busiest day on the roads. And the drive down from the north down to Portsmouth was absolute hell. It took forever. Google helped us out in certain ways but it sent us on google specials so we had a beautiful little detour around the back streets of winchester, winchester and it just was one of those journeys where the journey time no matter how far you drive seemed to be staying the same all the way down but we made it okay there are a few other things that we still wanted to talk about on the ferry uh, so Wi-Fi was one of them. You get 90 minutes of free Wi-Fi, which was ace. That's all I actually used. Um, and the rest of the time we just spent in gloriousness of no social media. I read another book, which is amazing. You can buy extra Wi-Fi packages. It was really cheap, actually. It was three pounds or three euros fifty for an hour or packages that went up to maybe nine euros fifty for two devices for six hours. And apart from that, 
there was a reasonable amount of stuff to do on the ferry. There was a little exercise deck. We took full advantage of the sun deck and there seemed to be loads of different sun decks where you could just set up and we set up for our little picnics in different spots. There was a cinema on board, but we weren't particularly bothered about that. Uh, within the cabin, there was uh, on-demand movies and TV, both in French and uh, English. So, obviously, with my Duolingo expertise, I would be uh, straight into those French films. Or not. <laughs> or not. Yeah, we weren't bored. It was two nights, one day. And actually, we said the journey went really quickly. And it was nice and relaxing. It was a nice way to start the holiday. It probably helped. It was a brand new ferry. Everything was clean. Um, but, yeah, it was just a really good start. And arriving in Santander at eight o'clock in the morning was just beautiful. The sun was shining. We hit empty roads and we drove an hour and a half, no more, up to where we are now. And we've had the most amazing night. Up next, we're in the Pico de Europa National Park in Spain. It is absolutely stunning. And we'll show you around some of the bits that we're exploring. See you later. Bye.